Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Prominence. Let's take him down! Please drop your eye. Look, it's so big and staring directly at me. Come on. Come on! Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? No. Of course we didn't get it. Of course we didn't get it. Why would we get it? But we are... Oh, we didn't get another Heart of the Sea either. Frick! Okay, but, obviously, there is another Guardian somewhere around here. Uh, in the meantime, as we know, um, make sure to like the video, subscribe to Captain Sparkles too, follow twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles to catch these episodes live. And hopefully we can find him. I don't... Uh, I think I see him. I think he's over in this direction, except I can't mine, which is a slight problem. And obviously the layout of this modded underwater monument is somewhat different than a standard one, so navigating through it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. But he's over, he's to the north. Holy Dolphin's Grace, oh my God, are we back in the big area? Okay, we're back in the big area, so I just need to go across. Let's see if I can find my way through. Do we have stairs or anything that we can go down? Hello? I just wish to go in this direction. It should not, there we go. Okay, we got some stairs down here. Maybe this is the way. Maybe this is the way. One can hope. It's, it doesn't seem to be the way. Maybe there are more, no, there's nobody over here. This is a tough thing to navigate through. Oh, maybe it's this, could be this, could be this. This is looking potentially promising, possibly perhaps. Oh, oh, whoa, this is a cool looking place. All right, buddy, I need you. That's a bit of a sucker punch on my part. Kind of, kind of bad form, I'm sorry. You were focusing on a squid and then I just came out swinging. Didn't really give you much of a chance. Come on, I, good. I am not having any luck with getting what I need. I wonder if these things are like part of the structure or if it just so happens to be like a couple biomes that are just intersecting with each other. So, we're gonna have to run into another, there's just a trident sitting here. That's kinda, oh. Hello, here's the entrance. Ow, I'm getting fricked up. Looks pretty cool. This is actually what I used for the thumbnail of the last episode, um, as you perhaps have already seen. I would like to see if there are any other chests around because if we can find ourselves another set of the Nautilus shells, then that'll contribute to, um, that would, well, we'd still need to find another Heart of the Sea. Right now, are one of two conduits necessary to be able to craft another eye if we're able to get all the coral and stuff for it. Honestly, though, now that we're out of uh, Elder Guardians in here, let's just find another one because we're going to have to do it anyway. And then maybe we'll find the other chest in the other one. The difficulty is we have to get far enough away to where it's not gonna be, oh wow, this is like just opened up here. We get far enough away to where it's not just gonna lead us to the near, this one once again. Like that's the downside of the structure compass. You should be able to select, go to the next one in the series rather than the one I was just at. April Twihard, thank you for the 34 months. Very much appreciated. Um, Anyway, where did I leave a, uh, where did I leave Mr. Birdie? It was over here, right? Because we need to hop on and find ourselves another place. Yeah, I mean, well, I like this one. I like this as opposed to a vanilla one, just because we can get those Nautilus shells in there. And otherwise, there's no great way to get them. Although maybe they, uh, there might be a modded villager that you can trade with. Maybe I should actually look. Nautilus shells. Is there a way to get it with a fancy village? There is the oceanographer or wandering trader, obviously. But so, what? I wonder what the oceanographer uses as its profession table. But master, of course, we can get scamaged. If it's if it's valuable, if it's useful, if it's something you might want, then clearly it's going to be at master level. Why would it be anything else? Um. Alrighty, aren't there two types of ocean mon- Yeah, there are, there are different types of ocean monuments. Um, so I get, yeah, maybe we can like leapfrog. Hopefully if we go to vanilla ocean monument, then the next one after that will not be this if we try to find a modded one. At least I think, unless, well, let's see. Monument, monument, monument. What was it again? Ocean mon- Oh no, there's only, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the modded one and then monument is just standard. So let's see, where are we at? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. That's not good. Uh, the radius keeps going up. It keeps going up. Um, maybe there are no vanilla monuments here. Perhaps they are all replaced by this one. Yeah, there's no monument. So, in that case, we're gonna do a uh, pillager, uh, I think beach pillager outpost was what we just came from. So we gotta find like another one and hope it's kinda nearby. God dang, okay. If it goes to 5,000, it's a no. Okay, yeah, you know what? Maybe we've just hit up mansion. This is a vanilla Minecraft woodland mansion that would be a good shout for us to be able to get the Evoker Eye, and maybe on the way there, with it being 5,000 blocks away, uh, which is actually, the reason why I'm thinking let's do this is because often they're like 20,000 blocks away. So 5,000, 5,000 isn't bad. So let's head over to this. On the way, maybe we'll find another pillager outpost, maybe we'll see another underwater monument, and then when we get there, then we can do another search for an underwater monument and it'll take us to a different one. So I think that's the way to do it. It's like leapfrog between different structures. And then that way, every time we do a search, it's hopefully hitting a new one um, closer to the new place we've gotten to. Uh, is that, wait, whoa, broski. This is just like a cool villa. I think, I, I thought it was the pillager thing at first. This is just a cool village that happened to generate on like a cliff. Wow, I'm, I'm going to waypoint this just because it looks really cool. Dang, this thing is fancy. Cool. Uh, cliff village. Wait, I wonder actually if there's a waystone. There might actually be a waystone. Let's check around if we can find one then. Oh, it is right here? Wait, is there? Is that it? No, it's not the waystone? What the heck? There's got to be a waystone somewhere, right? There's no way stone that there isn't one. Surely. Well, this might send us all the way back to the underwater monument, but the bigger problem is it means I can't just take a straight shot and go to the Woodland Mansion. I'm gonna have to do like a freaking crash again. All right, so, <laughs> oh, what a pain. Uh, anyway, I um, I called Lauren up and I was like, Lauren, can you just can you just get me over here really quick? And Lauren was like, Yo, I got you. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the mansion to you. Why are you not listening to what are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry, we we definitely didn't have any issues with losing our bird because of the save desync. That definitely, that definitely didn't happen. This is definitely the same bird that we've flown all the way here on. <laughs> I'm having so many issues with chunks freezing up on me. Um, but anyway, we're here at the Woodland Mansion and the good news, don't, nope, don't do it. One, two, nope. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wait, sitting. The good news is that the mansion isn't actually a thing that's crashing us, so uh, we're here and we can actually explore it. And fingers crossed that if we find ourselves some evokers, we'll be able to finally, maybe, possibly, get the eye that they drop, which would be fantastic. All right. I don't think we've got any on the first floor, do we? I hear the alleys. I must free them, even if I don't plan on becoming friends with them. I've got to free them so that they can go about and live. Oh God, I freed the skeleton. Careful, ally. I don't want to accidentally hit you. That would be really, really sad. I will try not to hurt the lizard man, dude, bro, and stuff like that. I'm just, I am here for the liberation and the spreading of democracy to the allies and the lizard men of the house. Even the skeleton, who I freed from prison, but then he decided, for whatever reason, he wanted to fight me, which is just ridiculous. I am your savior. Why would you behave this way? No evokers down here, are there? Hmm. Okay, well, uppies we go. What do you mean, wrong game? Liberty and democracy waits for no one and no game. It must be ever-present wherever we go. 
Okay, um, oh, Woodland Mansion loot chest actually can have a chance to. Which chest? Because there's definitely different kinds of loot chests in the Woodland Mansion, and they all have varying degrees of silly versus... Okay, gimme, gimme, come on. God, you little frick! They are not being cooperative. They are not making this happen for us. There are other types of mansion structures, though, so... Could be, oh God, could be interesting to check him out. Like if the, if they all have similar layouts and loot table possibilities, then maybe there are others that are closer. Stop giving me the freaking hats. I don't need the hats. This isn't helpful to me. Can you drop the eye? I'd really like it if you could. It's really, please frick off. Um, any more evokers? Any more evokers? Got an evoker in here? Nope, just a skeleton trying to do a three, 360 YY on me. And he fails miserably, gets wrecked on the way down. And there's another skeleton. Do we have any more evoker mans? Okay, that's the uppies again. There'd usually be a couple more evokers up there. Maybe we, we get around a little quicker this way. Just a little hang gliding. Nothing wrong with a little hang gliding in the house. By the way, if you're interested in grabbing a Minecraft server, maybe playing some prominence with your friends, or another mod pack of vanilla Minecraft, you should check out our server hosting sponsor, Apex Hosting. Use code Captain Sparkles to grab yourself a whopping 25% off your first month of server hosting. God, they just won't drop the eye! We did hear last time that looting supposedly doesn't affect it, which is just pooped. Absolutely poop if that is true, but there's nothing you can do. Hello, kitty cats. Do you have any chests inside of you? I don't think you do, do you? You were just, you were just kitty cats. Hmm. Do I have luck on my sword? I don't. Oh, I do, yeah, plus two luck, sorry. Yeah, 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 of course, it's legendary forge. What else would we have? Luck is the only way. And we're not having any, so that's unfortunate. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Um, uppies, uppies, uppies. An illager fort, you say, would have tons of evokers and chests. All right. Yeah, it's just that the, the chests that are present here, they're not great. Yeah, I'll look for illager fort. Really, are we not? We don't have any evokers on the top floor. What the frick? Bro, is that it? Maybe a diamond block over here, though. Let's give it a little check. We'll give it a little check. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, we don't have the diamond room. That's so sad. I can't believe it. Hmm. Okay, well. In that case, I don't know. Let's do a quick little look up on Illager Fortress and see if that shows anything up. Illager... For Illager Fort, ooh, how far away? 2,700 blocks, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Do we actually fly there? Uh, do we risk it for the biscuit? Um, hmm, guess we'll try. Okay, all right. It's, go it's going well for us. It's going well for us here. It's definitely going well. Okay, so, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a terrible place for the Illager Fort to have spawned. It's literally right at a village. Oh my god, dude. As soon as I kill a an evoker, or if there's a banner carrier in here, as soon as I slay it, the it's gonna immediately start a raid. Oh my god. Hey, buddy. Hey, Maurice. Uh, this bad. Bad, really bad spot. God dang it, I'm blind already. Oh no. Anyway, yeah, this could be a good way for us to get ourselves the eye, potentially. And uh, yeah, Lauren um, brought brought this a little closer to us, which is very helpful. We shout out to Lauren. Oh, you've received a bit of a wee bit of damage uh, for unknown reasons. Yeah, let me help you out. I've got you, sir. I, you should be indebted to me because I've just spent my iron on you. Which is very ironic, even. Um, what, what was the best way to get in here? What was the best way? 
I can't I can't wait to immediately start a raid. What a spawn. Just a nice, beautiful, peaceful village, and then the frick is this? This is so ridiculous. Hello, I would like to have some emeralds. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. What is the way in here again? Uh, do we have any? Yes, we do have some stairs. Heck yeah. Uh, what are they stuck on? Like, stuck in place. Okay. All right. It is time to just, like... Let's head in here, bro. Yeah, there's chests all over the place in here, too. Right, 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 right. And the chests in here are, like, a lot more consistent in terms of what they offer. All right, here we go. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Holy frick. There are a lot of guys in here. This seems like an opportunity for... Regenerating my armor. Man's like living for so long. What the heck? All right. Ay, yay, yay. There's another. Man's taking ages to take down. Okay, eyes. Diamond chest plate's pretty good. Slime helmet, nice. Yellow color module, don't know what that does. Archer boots, copper ring. Um, okay, surely we're going to get the eye showing up somewhere in here. We simply must. Thank goodness we've got this going here. All right. I remember this place. Ooh, I hear the dudes. I hear the bros. I hear the mans. Um... Okay, I need to not be juicing, though, for this. God dang. Oh, this place is crazy. You forget about how crazy this place is. You're done. Go away. I wonder if I should grab the Illager... Uh, no, but if I grab the Illager's Bane sword... Honestly, oh, that could be sick as an idea. Like, build an Illager's Bane sword. Because we have Fortune and Scavenger and all that stuff. Like, we can... We just do a... We could set it up so quickly. And then we would... Then we would be just rocking this place. Like... Oh, God. Ah, oh, this whole deal. Oh, this is so much great fun. I forgot about this whole thing where you just get... You're getting crunched all day long. Um... Okay, check it out. Check it out. Here's what we do. Right? We plant our flag here. We just plant our flag. And then... Uh, Al... This is Alchemist. We run back. Okay, now, because of our immense wealth, what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly set ourselves up a sword that has sharpness and illager's bane. Or actually, I could take the one that I had before, right? This one, which has sharpness for bane of illagers and looting, and we put on the other stuff, and then we just use this to rock their world. Now, we won't have luck, which is a little unfortunate, and I also can't really... I can't, oh, this is minus two luck. Oh God, that's minus two luck. We don't want that actually. Let's set up a new sword. Yeah, let's set up a new sword that we can actually. Do we have, Um, let's see, legendary. How many legendary weapons do we have here? We must have a few that are like pre-legendary that are, okay, we have an epic glacial gladius, which is actually pretty good. Um. I think we like the Glacial Gladius quite a lot. Just looking for a pre epic one. That's not going to be subtracting luck from us, because that would be not cool. Yeah, we'll just stick with this. We'll get some Sharpness 5, Bane of Villagers, Looting 4. Um, let's see, Sharpness up to 5. And then Looting up to 4. Scav, up to three. Uh, mending, of course. I think the Glacial Gladius is actually like really, really good as well. It does a massive group attack. And then Illagers, Bane. Ooh, Max is only four. Um, maybe, you know what? Let's, let's roll a few. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Bane of Illagers as well. Bane of Illagers goes up to five. Can they stack? 
Can they stack, actually? Hmm. Oh, wait. Can I do another Illager? Were there multiple? Oh, there were multiple. And what is max? Illager's Bane. Bane of Illager's six. Oh, Bane of Illager's goes to six. And Illager's Bane goes up to four. So that is maximum. Now, Illager's B Bane of Illager's, I could do a six here. Ooh, yeah. Wait, I wonder. So Bane of Illager's, Bane of Illager's. Um, cool. Also, what am I doing? Can't I put all these onto one book? I'm pretty sure I can just put all these onto one book, right? <laughs> Uh, sharp, and then looting, yep, and then Bane of Illagers up to six, Illagers Bane up to four, does it work on the same thing? We're gonna see if one takes priority over the other, and then Mending, and then Scav, And I think that's pretty much it, right? Oh, Soul Devourer if we want more XP, but not essential. Soul Devourer, yeah. Multiplies XP gain from kill. Chance to gain extra XP from kill. Sure, why not? And then... Uh, cool. Oh, Unbreaking. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Unbreaking, oh, we don't have any Unbreaking left. Okay, what happens with the two Illagers? It only takes one of them, okay. Now, do I wanna lose the Illager's Bane? Um, that's the question. I could just put this back in. I might wanna, I might wanna just put the Illager's Bane back in and like, do I remake? Perhaps? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be good. Then we can just grind stone you to begin with. And then it should be a little bit cheaper. 45 levels. Perfect. Okay. RIP our anvil. But, all right. This thing will now just absolutely munch through everybody here. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's freaking go. All right. And we need to go up again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember all the, the attic here has just so many chests in it. And one of them might have the eye, even if we don't get it from... The dudes. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna work. That's gonna, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for us real quick right there. We're gonna get the eye? Nope, no eyes. God dang it, man. What is this though, by the way? Evocation pants, thanks. Thanks for dropping your pants, buddy. I have a new skill point. Okay. Ooh, diamonds, nice, nice, nice. I'm not seeing the eye though. Not seeing the eye. Pretty lame. And gold and legendary iron boots. Sure, just gonna grab them because why not? <laughs> God dang it, you're not even real? Okay, Evoki, come on. Bro, there is no way that it can be this uncommon to get the thing. It can't be this uncommon, right? Are we just getting like wrecked by RNG or is it just, is it not dropping the eye? Like what, what's the issue here? This is, this is wild. This is wild. Try being luckier, what the frick? How are you gonna just blame me like this? Oh, is there, oh yeah, 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 this thing has a, it's an entrance on the uh, final side that I decided to check. Very good job, me. Very good job. <sighs> Break off. Okay, how do I get in the attic again? Um, the attic has some good stuff. I just don't remember how to get up there. Hmm. I guess we can just mine into it rather than looking for the ladder. We'll find the ladder somewhere. Um... A chill Gale knife, dude. That's that's pretty chill, dude. I'm super glad that I made it all the way up into the attic, and then I just fell right back down through. That was uh, it's elegant, very, very uh, elegant. Oh, it is a five percent evoker chance. Oh god. Okay, fair enough. No wonder it's impossible to find the dang thing. 
Um, but hey, you know, you go steamroll through enough evokers here and then surely eventually. Speaking of, where are they? Because like... Also, I'm like one hitting some of these spiders. I guess they're pretty low on health to be fair. Uh, but anyway. Okay, guys. No, no, no. We just get rid of all of you. We get rid of you guys. We get rid of everybody. We get rid of the spawners. There's an anvil. It's a broken anvil, but still something nonetheless. And just go away. How much damage does this do, by the way? Nine, only 9.6. Dang. No. Nope. Nope. I think it has to be in, like, the actual chest. Chest can't be in the barrels. Um, I'll still take the coal. Tried right-clicking on a watermelon. Got any, uh, chests over here? No? None? I guess I can take some of the broken anvils. Why not? Wait, there's one. Come on, man. Nothing? This is ridiculous. And nothing. Why am I putting this in here? I keep hitting B out of habit. When I do not need to. Okay, goodbye everybody here, I suppose. It's been fun, um, but I must go now. After you fall, just sorted out my inventory. Ay, ay, ay. After you fall through the ceiling, sometimes you get a little bit gassy. It's no, it's only natural. Okay. Um, I mean, we were getting like absolutely hammered by evoker attacks when we were down there before. There's got to be some more, right? Got to be some more. Where were they? Oh God. Why can't I just shift walk off the edge of everything? Hello? Hello, is anybody home? Bunch of garbaggio. Any evokers? Any any evokers down here? You know, hello? This is a villager, wait, this is a villager house. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the poor guys, the poor guys. Oh, it's just villager houses, oh no. And there's just pillagers living inside of them. Oh, jeez. What a mess. I can't believe this has happened to our poor villager friends. <laughs> it's just destroyed the structure generation here. Um. Hmm. Okay, mana steel. I guess I don't need the stick if we don't have the, uh, the bird here at the moment. I can't find any more evokers, though. They can't have, like, despawned. Alright. Uh, clear Vomit, thank you for the, uh, 28 months. Very, very cool. Very sweet. Very awesome. Hello? Any evokers wanna say hi? It's, like, really hard to tell the difference between evokers and vindicators on the map. So... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I was up here. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Goodbye, Mr. Creeper. It's kind of up here when we were getting wrecked. But I... Oh, God dang you! Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you hit that shot. Don't you hit that shot. So I was up here while I was getting wrecked. Where the frick were they? And why is the 5% just impossible to deal with? Man. Well. I mean, we kind of, I guess we took over the structure. And we have yet again not received the eye. Oh, there's one guy right there. He's just hiding off to the side. This freaking dude. Hey, buddy. Um, I'd like it if I could get the eye from you. 
Wouldn't that be, just be magical? It would. Too bad you're not being cooperative. Imagine being cooperative. Couldn't be me, he says. Couldn't be me. <sighs> well, I think that might be it for evokers here. We got a waystone. How nice. I'll take that. Did I? Okay, I did pick it up. Unless any have fallen down. I'll do a quick little loop around here and see if we find any mans. All right. Well, here we go. I'm assuming it's all modded monuments here. So let's see. 1,600 uh, blocks away. Not too bad. All right. And uh, oh, this one's like, different. It doesn't have the lights at the top, which is interesting. All right. Where are the man's at? We do have the man. This isn't the same one, right? This isn't... No, no, because this is unlooted. I keep tripping off the sword attack. Yo, we got more Nautilus shells. Okay, if we can get one more of the... There we go, there we go. Hello, buddy. We get one more of the conduit things. Uh, Heart of the Seas. Then we will actually... No, I'm going to use that since now we have luck too on, on here. Uh, that'll be the ability for us to... Yes! We got it! We got the Guardian Eye, and we got another Heart of the Sea, which means if we just go to a tropical, uh, a tropical coral reef area, uh, then I, th oh, of course we get the, uh, mining fatigue right then and there. Okay, okay, wait, no, this is huge. This is huge. We go, we get the coral, and then that allows us to make, I think it's the, was the cryptic eye, or no, the tropical eye. And for now, where are we at on eyes? This is a great place to just look, browse through my inventory while we're sitting outside of the underwater monument. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we can craft the oh the exotic eye. If I just get the different corals and a couple glow squid. That's doable. That's very doable. Let's find ourselves a warm ocean and do it up. Okay, warm ocean. How far? Up. 143 blocks away. Okay. Sounds good. Is there any coral nearby that I'm not going to be able to punch because I have mining fatigue and that's going to be very very annoying. Um... What the heck, dude? It's like tropical. Wait, if I slay you, do I get the coral from you? I do. Okay, that's actually really sick. Which ones do I? That's one of them. I need fire. I need red, blue, yellow. Yo, I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. There's a red one over here. Bro, this is epic. I don't even need to mine the coral. Is this red man? Right? Where? Yep. And then yellow, yellow, yellow. Are you yellow? You look kind of yellowy. Yep, and then blue. Blue is seemingly harder to find here. Um, that's what kind of just blends in with the map. I'm not really seeing it. I like how, so instead of a coral reef, you get the skeletons have simply pillaged <laughs> the coral reef, except they don't like blue. They've just thrown out all the blue and instead kept all the others. Guys. Why do none of you decorate yourselves with blue? Oh, it's okay. I think there's a coral reef over here. Yes, there is. All right, that'll be good. And then we get our silk. Our silky boy here. And then... Hurry. There we go. I can still get it. Oh, boy. Here we go, guys. I am underwater. I am underwater, and I am going to make the exotic eye right now as we speak. Boom. That's double conduits. And then... Oh god, I don't have glow squid. Wait. Can I actually like I have to oh, I have to haunt it. I have to do some bulk haunting if I want to get glow squid. <laughs> it can't be that hard to find glow squid, right? Do I not have the uh I do have the eye vendor. Wait, I don't have the tube coral. Huh? What kind of coral did I Oh I got tube coral fan. Oh, wait for it. I need that, right? Wait. What's the difference? Is it this? Is it that one? No. It wasn't that way. How do I get this again? Why am I forgetting how this works? Uh, you do the... No, you just do... You just need the, the, the tube coral. Wait, what am I doing? Where? Where's the tube coral? 
Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Get in the house, Coral. Got it. Got it, got it. I'm like, what am I doing here? There we are. Okay, so that is everything except for the glow squids. Cool! Now my favorite thing to do. Find glow squid, eliminate glow squid. I think I may need to just go into the mine because I don't know do they spawn naturally in the oceans in the mod pack. Maybe, maybe not. Possibly, not entirely sure. Um, but this is pretty sick. Uh, yeah, I could go underwater cave. Mm, let me see. I see him on the map. I see him on the map. He's in the cave somewhere. Maybe we can get to him. Can we? Can There's several glow squids over here. Oh god, they're 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 elsewhere though. Hold on. Let's get an elevation on him. Um, Y28. Wait, Y28. Y28. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. I'm sure. Be really close. <laughs> this is um. This is an hey, there we go. We found him. Yeah. And we got another eye. Dude, this is 11. 11 out of... Oh, it's so easy to get to right here. Okay, fair enough. Could have just dove down right in the ravine, but I didn't. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Huge maneuvers. Hugest of plays. Exotic eye. That's another one down. We didn't do that one. Stop! I'm in a moment here, man. Stop interrupting it. That's 11 out of 12. Okay. So, that leaves us with just a few options. We have to figure out which one we want to get next. Which one do we wish to get next? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Cryptic Eye, you said, is just, it can happen if you just keep enchanting. The undead eye, I wish I knew how to get the undead. Oh yeah, right, right, sorry. I do know how. I just don't know how to get a skeleton horse because they don't just happen. Um, oh, old eye belonged to the great sandworm. So this one is the desert. That's the desert temple. I could check the desert temple and see. Though someone did tell me like they had a really hard time finding it and like couldn't actually or something. Um, we have desert temple. We have pillager tower. We have do and chance, and we also find skeleton horse. So, hmm. Find the portal for, oh, the portal can have slots filled? Can it actually? No way. I thought it was always empty when it came to this uh, this mod, but. All right, so stronghold and stronghold. There's different kinds, what the frick? I'm assuming we want end stronghold, probably. Maybe. If it doesn't show up, then I guess not. <laughs> um, not found. Okay. Stronghold. Uh, this one? It's 871 blocks away. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, I'm using the uh, compass for it. Surely we can go 800 blocks and not crash. Right? Well, in exciting news, I just stepped on a cactus. <laughs> In exciting news, we are here and ready to go. And we haven't crashed. So let's just do it. Let's dig down. We'll get our waystone set up. I don't know. I don't think that the portals... Um, I just don't think that the portals have eyes pre-filled in. I really don't. And does it change? Okay, it doesn't change. It's just going by X and Y. Oh, wait. Why am I using that? I'm using the silk touch for no reason here. Okay, you go back in. You did your job with the coral. I, I do appreciate you, but we just don't need it right now. All right, down the hatch, down the hatch. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I don't need the water right now. How are we not? There we Oh, God dang, man. <laughs> there we have Feather Falling 5. It's just more of a shock than anything. Right on. Yeah, this is this is the uh, this is the structure that I was definitely thinking we were gonna find. We've been in this before. Again, better Minecraft. And I see the portal. I see the portal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's vroom it up. Wouldn't it be really really cool if you could actually find a uh, an eye inside of the stronghold? I think that would be really cool. But I don't know if it's actually possible or not. Okay, we go back through here. Oh, dude. You know what? 
if we needed to, we needed to get books. If we needed to get any books, um, we've come to the right place. It's just lapis that we need more of, really, to be able to keep up with the uh, enchantment needs. But there's a few books around here. Um, okay, so where do I want to go? Is it here? Is it right? Ah, there it is. There we go. Very good. And wait. Wait. No way. No way. End portal. Wait, no, freaking name it. I always, I always search it instead of name it. Dude. No way. Has it actually, has it actually? Does it work that way? Does this count as it just has one pre-filled in? Holy frick. There's no, now I know you guys are gonna say, well, you could have used the standard. If you try to put in a standard eye of Ender or two of the same, it doesn't work. I would just, I, I wanna be clear so that no one's like, oh, you could have gotten in another way, right? If I try to do this. This eye doesn't want to be used. I'm just, I'm just confirming for the people who were gonna say well, you could, you didn't need to search for the eyes, right? That doesn't work. And then also, if I do this, and then I do that, this eye can't be placed. So it has safeguards in place. Um, so we have to do unique ones, but we're there, bro. That is, I didn't realize. I thought it was already. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pre-filled in. Also, wait, with better Minecraft, it wasn't this one. With better Minecraft, it was a. Different one, actually, I think. Uh, it was an above ground stronghold, and it actually had different, differently textured uh, portal blocks, I think. It was like a whole, whole different thing. Yeah, it was pink. So, there we go. Boom. And I think that was my first exp. No, no, Dawncraft. No, that was Dawncraft, wasn't it? That was Dawncraft. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't Dark RPG or Better Minecraft. Go there. And then... Boom. Bro, let's go. Come on. Who would have thought... Who would have thought we would get there that quickly today? Crazy. All right. Well, I think that this is going to be like a somewhat unique ish dragon well it's gonna it's gonna look different i don't know if the dragon itself is gonna be different but let's see if we can get i need some more golden garret cheer real quick yeah it's gonna be necessary Ooh, 31 more let's go why don't they stack god dang it Did i have other golden carrots i just didn't put them in my inventory because they weren't stacking no but what what is with unstackable golden carrots nobody knows Nobody knows. Oh, this is one of the issues, though, is that I'm not going to be able to access my my thing here, aren't I? Yeah. Well, anyway, here we. You want it? Yeah. Let's see. Does, do they stack on the ground? Actually, genius. Actually, you guys are geniuses. Oh my god, you guys are geniuses. Crazy. Make sure to like the video for us getting to the end and check out our sponsor, Logitech. And go to Logitech G with the link in the description. Use code Captain Sparkles, get 10% off some equipment. And, oh yeah, this is different. It's di Face the void. Pardon me? Discover the better end. Why is the bell ringing like there's a raid going on? What the frick? I didn't bring bottles for Dragon's Breath. I'm not going to get Minecraft all advancements. Whoa. That's freaking crazy. Dragon's Breath for end shelves. You bring up a good point. What is... What is the... Oh, is the dragon spawning now? Oh, it is. Oh, it goes through the animation when you get here. What the heck? Where's the fountain? Huh? What is... What is... Th what the frick is this? Whoa. Oh, God! 
god, noises, noises, noises. I forgot about the noises. Okay. Um, I do realize I just, uh, <laughs> I, I forgot to unpause there really quick, but it's fine. The dragon just spawned automatically. I didn't have to do anything, but yeah, there were, there were the end crystals in there and then the dragon just spawned. But now we have these interesting wizardy looking structures, which is going to make it a little bit harder for us to deal with because we have, to, I can't just shoot them directly. I'm going to have to build up, but you know, we can vein mine our way through. Yeah, I messed up with the not bringing bottles to get end shelves. I messed up with that. That was an oversight, and I don't have... This would have been a good reason to have the interdimensional thing. Or I could just die and lose all 444 levels and come back, uh, which doesn't seem like the best idea. Oh, yeah, what am I talking about? Just waystone it up. Bro, just waystone it. Bro, I'm so used to never being able to leave when you come back in here. Oh, my God. What am I doing? I have a freaking waystone. Wekadula, back to the village. God. Sometimes you like, someone says you forgot the glass bottles and you're like, oh, well, I'm in the end now. I can't do anything about it. And you forget for a second that you're, you do have a way to do things about it. But no, you, you need more, you need a max size beacon for the interdimensional. And the only reason I haven't done it is because my attic doesn't really have enough space for it. <laughs> It's, it's a silly reason, but it is my reason nonetheless. So, um, anyway, let me get some bottles, bottles, bottles. We got 16 of them. How many end shelves do we need? That's probably about how many, but I'll just get a few spare just in case. There we go. And now we can go to Wekadula. Oh, tentacle for towers. Or I... Mm, I don't know if it'll reach up. Honestly, the glider. I think glider for, for towels. Towels? Towers? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, Dragon's Breath. How are you looking in here? Would you like to give me some pretty, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the ball sex are we doing with this? Great, 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 great. great. That is a uh, conflict that is very annoying. That's, it's a very annoying conflict there that I wish did not happen. I really wish that didn't be a thing. What is this? Oh, just a bunch of Endermen in a hot tub. Uh, how do you make it not do that? Okay, please, can you just... Okay, there you go. And then... Okay. Got it. And Ender. God! Am I going to have to TP out again? Because I, I can't remember how many of these I need. Okay. I think that's it there. I need 15. I'm literally one short. Ugh. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Each Dragon's Breath makes... Wait, three? You get three for infusing each. Oh, 19 if you want the Library of Alexandria. That's true. We could consider that there. Um, that's okay. As if glass is like hard to get, right? So here we go. I'll just bring some glass as well. And now we go back again to Wekadula. Oh, grab the tentacle. Eh, I should have, but I forgot. You also only need one end shelf for... How do you only need one end shelf for the enchanting setup if you want to get to level 100? How would that even... How would that even work? Oh. All right. Well, we're good. Oh, yeah. Out of range. Makes sense. Cool. Well, all right. We are all good now. And with that done and out of the way, now we can try to see what we can do with shoosting. Shulk shelves replaced end shelves. Oh. It's just like a different, it's different in its entirety, I see. Ow? Why? Excuse me? Pardon me, why? Um, did, did phantoms just decide that they wished 
to ow enter the battlefield. Okay. 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 All right. That's just so nice of you to do. God dang it, man. Ow, I forgot to have this here. What the frick is this? Oh, a phantom skin. You can just hit it from over here, you know? A little higher. A little higher. Yeah, let's go. God, just stop it. How's my art? Fine. Like, I think it's just for whatever reason, the Void Blossom has some, like, armor piercing abilities or something like that. Uh, let me just, I'm gonna have to go up this way here, probably. Oh, you are just full of garbage! Oh my god, I hate you! Are we there yet? Nope, we're not there yet. Frick! God, the extra speed actually does not help with this either. Um. Yikes! Ah, what? Uh, okay, I was like, please tell me that doesn't last a very long time. Where does the dragon perch, by the way? Eh. Eh. Where is it landing? Where is it landing? Got it. Wait, did that? That crystal wasn't there a moment ago. That crystal was not there a moment ago. I'm fairly confident that it was not there. Uh. Um. Hmm. I think that- Oh, you mother of truck, are you serious? I'm not trying to get away from you. Frick off. Okay, okay. That one's also in bars. Hold on. Okay, are we, oh God. Uh, did we get him? Wait, I think we got most of the crystals there and we also hit the dragon a bit. That was a, a hit. Now, if the crystals respawn after I take them all down, that's gonna be unfun. Okay, so you perch, but you perch, you perch up there. Weird, weird, weird. I need a, an ender pearl. I need an ender pearl to be able to deal with it. What? Oh, he's gone. Okay. How do I deal with that? Um, you know what I need to do? I have an idea. I put a waystone. Wait, do I? God dang it! Just to, just so you guys are aware. Um, my freaking thing. Like, because I'm fast, I can shift, I can be holding shift and it'll still send me off the edge, which is very inconvenient. So, I think what I do is I just go up top and I shoot from the middle and then I, and then I wait for him to perch and then I like, I don't know, go for it from there. But I was thinking, I was thinking about, you know, maybe getting, going home, getting an extra waystone and then I could get up here from anywhere basically. But I can just do this for now. Man, don't Mr. President get down the dragon. Did it just... I'm like, it, it didn't just respawn a crystal, did it? Okay, how does this work? Like, where do you perch? Okay. 
Okay, we're doing good damage. We're doing good damage. I don't know if the other sword would do any better, but we got, we have really good reach. So, all right. I think we're done. We're done with the phantoms. <gasps> no, what? No, stop. No, stop. You're blocking what? Oh my God, stop this. Why is there a blaze over there too? Okay, I got it. Frick off! Oh my god, you cannot be serious with this. Oh! You're dead to me. You're dead to me. You are dead to me. How dare you? Thank you, he dead. Finally, power seven is actually dealing some damage. Okay, is that a perch? It is a perch, that's a perch. What? Woo, that was quick. That was quick. God, imagine having to, dude, dealing with the dragon when it can respawn crystals. Who thought of this? No, no! You're full of balls. Recovery, recovery, that was recovery, bro. Yes, yes. Yes. Right in the head, right in the head. Oh, you're annoying. Okay, no, no crystals, no crystals coming back. Frick you, frick you, frick off. Come on. Hits, yes, hits all day. Man, the first hit after a period always doing more damage. Just from, oh, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 no! I said you don't do that. Reminds me of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, like diminishing, diminishing trick return. The freaking phantom ruined my life? Do it? Wait, did we do it? I, he's wait, he seems very What? I'm sorry, huh? What? I did it! I beat you! I beat you! Stop! I beat you! What are you on about? What is this? You lie! You have no health! You don't have health! You're literally cheating! You're dead! You're actually dead! Huh? Is he perching? Is he perching, but he's already dead? Oh, I got it. Huh. Huh. Why did he just suddenly decide to cooperate there at the end? I finally got him to zero enough health. Do even like, hey, I actually, oh, that was a good amount of experience, honestly, for level, for level 440 to bring us to 470, 475? It's actually some pretty solid XP, all things considered. Um. Whew. Jeez. Just hanging on for dear life there at the end, which is understandable, very understandable. Mm. Now, now, however, we get to start doing big plays, right? Because remember, we have the whole reforging thing here. Um, and where was it? Reforging, so mythic. Mythic is a thing, and Galena is, let's see, okay. Mythic must be really, really, oh, you did drop something else. What is this? Oh, another one of the Lord Souls, and then we have, of course, the Eggie, and then, hmm, 
Hold up. Did we get anything interesting here? Because that was this. Oh, it just gives us an elytra? Ah. Huh. Ah. Huh. Well, then. That's pretty cool. So, wait. Now I go back to the... After doing the end, I go back to the nether. Huh. Interesting. The end. Craft the crystallite armor. Doesn't have really uh, great armor toughness values. Ooh, equipable in the cape train enables. Oh, wait, the crystallite elytra actually gets you extra armor and you get regeneration as a set bonus. Wait, how do you make that though? Visit the foggy mushroom land, shadow forest. Eternium is kind of cool. Okay, hold on. Chris. Crystallite. Crystallite. How do you make... Oh, my lord. What? Okay. Amber gem. Dude, is this the thing that we find when we're exploring and we just never know what it actually does and now it's actually useful for something? Oh, my god. You got to do some... You got to do some kind of narbuckle stuff there. Did I get any of the phantom drops, by the way? Because, um... If I did not, then oopsie doopsie. Huh. Let's see. Padawandum, thank you for seven months, Zodier. 42 months. And Alex Cheeseboy with five months. Much appreciated. Uh, where the frick did the uh, phantoms drop stuff? Did I throw them out? Or did I put them into the big pick? I feel like I would have. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, that's not great. Apparently I need those. <laughs> I'm gonna have to not sleep for a bit. Got it. All right, a new record for expense in teleportation. 475 to 474. God dang it, I fricked it up. Okay, well, at least we have an elytra and we can enchant it and all that good stuff. I'm having flashbacks because of the lightning. I'm having fla- I'm actually gonna sleep because frick this, but I'm having flashbacks to the all advancements. Ugh. Use the elytra to make one of the capes. Uh, soul elytra plus three armor. How do you get these things? White feathered wings. Black dragon wings. Mythical, white mechanical Feather wings. There's some interesting things here. What does this do? Flandre's wings. That looks kind of sick if I had another nether. But the problem is if I do this, then I'm not going to be able to uncraft them. Oh, disabled. <laughs> um, wait, the elytra is un unbreakable. The elytra is unbreakable? I don't want to do anything yet, and also I haven't found a, a, an ancient city, so I can't really do anything with this. Um, oh, all those wings are unbreakable elytras, but the elytra itself is not. The reason why I want to keep it is because this thing seems actually sick, right? And if I keep the elytra in elytra form, then we can use it in order to make this, versus otherwise we aren't. Oh, also, yeah, there's smithing table recipes. Oh. Oh. I see. Oh. That's even better. That's even better. Oh, man. Dang. Seven armor. And you get... So do we have an Eternium upgrade, or is that... No. I bet you that's something we have to find in the end. End city loots. That is a pretty... It doesn't look as cool as the other one, but it's more armor. So, an Eternium, you need Netherite plus Terminite in the alloy thing. And you can find... I forget where you find this. The... What is it again? The Endstone Smelter is Thalassium, which you find Thalassium ore. You don't get... Oh, you don't get the armor when using it in the trinket slot? Oh. 
Okay, in that case, in that case, um, I'll make one of the other ones, and then surely we'll find another Elytra eventually, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Black dragon wings? No, but then I'm going to have to use my dragon's breath. That's the problem. That's the problem. If I do that, we're fricked on the dragon's breath. Um, oh, guys, I don't have any honeycomb. <laughs> I can't do any of these right now. Uh, yeah, we're, we're fricked. I actually need to put Mendigon in at least then. Um, because, yeah, I, I literally don't, I don't, I don't even know if there's a freaking beehive anywhere nearby. Alright, let me grab this thing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop some Mending on it real, really quick. And then, let's see, if you put this in, does it show, oh, that's so cool. Um, and mending, and then, oh uh, yeah, I don't have unbreaking, so let's just do this. Mm, my anvil. My anvil, it is gone. Good thing I have another one. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So, we can now put this in... Like the cape slot, right? Or something like that? Wait. Wait. Oh, that's kind of balls. That's kind of balls. Not until you get one of the other ones can you put it in the cape slot. So I do need to be able to do the other stuff. Frick. That's fricked. That's super fricked. Well, anyway, I guess we'll fly around with that for now and um, make some fireworks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. Probably just make a little stacky poo. Sugar cane. We can do a little bit more. And then a bit more here. So nice actually having a uh, usable thing there. You think I have enough? Okay, so shelf. So you say it's a, a shelf of end fused rectification. Wait, so infused, what do we have? Infused sea shelf, isn't it, um, end shelf? Isn't the end shelf a thing? Draconic end shelf. Wait, oh, there we go, end shelf. Yeah, I need, I need quite a lot of them, I think. The pearlescent end shelf, is that plus, yeah, we, we need like 15 of them. We definitely need like 15 of them. And then you can't do anything else with that. Yeah, no, it's definitely... You definitely need, like, 15 of the Dragon's Breath at least. And then if we want to do the other thing... Um... Oh. Oh! Mmm! That's new! That's... Wait. How do I... How do I get to level... 80? Before I have end shelves. Wait. A skulk? Skulk shelf? What? I need to find a... Oh my... There's no way there's an entirely other step that I... Oh. Oh no. Oh, what, oh, what the frick? You do that, and then you do that to a deep shelf, and then you do that to a freaking skulk shelf. What the frick? Oh, I didn't realize we were so far away. Oh, I didn't realize we were so far away. So hold on, there's like not even, there's nothing to do. There's not even anything to do here. In the end, it's all go to the deep dark. Holy frick. Holy frick. But wait a second. Okay, I need to find a beehive. Where the frick is a beehive? <laughs> um, honeycomb. Let's see if there's another way to get honeycomb. Um, Bumble Zone. Yeah, Bumble Zone works. Wait, does Bumble Zone, is Bumble Zone just, um, like, throw an ender pearl into a beehive or is it smash a beehive into your face with a piston oh the beekeeper expert of course of course um both okay 
So we're just gonna, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. And why am I doing that? I need some ender pearls. And let's just find a beehive and then smash it into our face. And then also I need to make another waystone. Piston is in fact reusable, yes. Um, do not go the villager route, whatever you do. <laughs> okay, understood. Um, I guess the question is, where's our closest beehive? If we could find like some plains, that seems like it would be good. Maybe just some nice, or a meadow or something like that. Meadow, how far away? 891. Well, we can get places pretty freaking quickly now. No! Oh, no, not, oh, God, oh, Jesus, not again. Oh, God, okay, oh, 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 I'm gonna die of kinetic energy, I'm gonna die of kinetic energy, I forgot, somebody, somebody remind me, where do I, where do I remove it, where do I take it off, oh, God, oh, God, or there's a keybind, or something like Okay, is this the beehive area? Is this the meadow that we're talking about? Oh, there's a, there's a village up there. I feel like I've been here before. Okay, oh God, oh God, oh no, 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 no! Okay, I didn't actually, I crashed, but it also didn't like count as, as hurting. Uh, oh God, oh geez. We're saved, we're saved. Oh, I thought I saw a beehive, but we didn't shoot. This does seem like a place where a beehive would, would be present. And I'm sure we've run into a beehive before as well. I'm just like, you know, kind of, kind of misremember. There, wait, 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 there we go, there we go. We got some bees over here. My, my friendly bees. You don't mind that I will be entering your hive, right? Yay, where are you guys? Hello, hello. Ow. <laughs> Where is it? Hey! All right. This should be a great way to get honeycomb. And, oh, silk touch it and just bring it home. That's not a bad idea, actually. It's not a bad idea. They're gonna get mad at me, but here goes nothing. Oh, they're not getting mad at me. Oh, when you silk touch, you don't have to, yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah, 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 okay, and, okay, normal flying. Dude, I don't know why I can't ever remember the um the rules of beehives and like you gotta if you're gonna shear it then you gotta smoke it but if you're silking you don't have to do it because the bees are fine in the beehive but if you're also if you're trying to get the honey from it you click it with a bottle that has to be smoked i'm just really bad at remembering the whole thing is all yeah the elytra doesn't lose durability as it turns out it's I've wasted a mending book. I'll never get that emerald and book back. It's all over. Oh, good. There were bees over here, too. Even closer. Oh, there were bees over there. Even closer. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually clearly passed bees on the minimap um, while I was on the way over, but I was so focused on being nauseated that I just didn't even look? All right. Oh, I did? Yeah, for sure. Let's go. I can craft mending books now for cheaper than one emerald and <laughs> and one book. Because <laughs> if not, then I don't know. Maybe it's not worth going for. All right. This seems like a great place for the bees. And now, Beenderman intrusion. Oh, we're going. I was like, do I need to click to make sure? It's like, you just sent an ender pearl at a beehive. Are you sure that you wanted to risk getting yourself fricked? Now, what I don't remember is, like, how you get out of here. <laughs> I mean, I have the waystone, but I don't remember how otherwise you get out of here. And every time I come into the Bumble Zone, it's, it's like, slightly different than it was before. Um, okay. Yeah, 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 digging down, there's, like, honeycomb and stuff. And then it's also, like, which... Which tool is the best for this? Oh, oh, that's how you... Oh, that's how you get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we... Oh, we can't uncraft. So what's the way to... 
do it again. What is our best way to get a hold? Somebody's upset. He's upset. Why are you upset? Ah, don't let the bees see you break the honeycomb. They'll be mad. That's why he's mad. That makes sense. Um, so there's got to be some, like, loot things here. Yeah, 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 but then now I remember with the whole... You get out of the bumble zone by dropping down. Just go bye-bye. Punch a hole through the bottom of the hive and you suddenly escape. Look, it is little... It is the babies. Look at the cute babies. I also... Oh, yeah, you know what I should do? I should get this thing to Mythic using the uh, Galena from the end. I just totally overlooked that, right? Galena is just easy as frick. So easy. Um, okay. How do I, once again, get the honeycomb from... Where do I find the chests? Where are the chests located? You'd think they would be somewhere around here. Bumble zone. Bumble zone, bumble zone. I guess just... Fly around. I should make everything mythical. Well, as it turns out, that's not the only limiting thing. Uh, is is just the Galena. There's also the other side of the equation, which diamonds is easy enough, but the others might be more difficult. You. St I don't know. Are there any structures, or is it just a matter of like? Wait. Oh, hold on. I see a. I see a freaking dude on the mini map. Who the frick are you? Where was he? Wait, what is... What the frick? What is in here? Hello? Somebody here? I see, some, I see like, a name or something like... Oh, a honey cocoon. What is this? Wax? Maybe there's... Yay, there's honeycomb. Okay. Honey compass. Lesser mystery structure? What? Craft or find a tantalizing honey compass. Huh. Bro, wait, where does it lead to? Huh, fascinating. Where is it? Hmm. I hope it doesn't, oh, what the frick? There's actually like, is this a freaking dungeon structure? What is this place? What are you? What are the oh wait, oh it's a pollinated stream. Interesting. Hope you don't have allergies. <laughs> Otherwise, this is gonna be quite unpleasant. Okay, I, I know I'm getting a little bit distracted here, but I kinda wanna go get Galena really quick. Um this is Bump Frick. Always do the wrong place to rename Bumble Zone. Alright. And now Bumbo? Cactoni. Um, where did I leave the? Did I not put down um an end waystone, or did I just not? Was this it? Was this the one, or did this take me somewhere else? I don't remember. I don't remember. Because I do want to have another one of the waystones when we go to the end. Um, I just need to get some chorus fruit and stuff like that, and then we'll be good. Where are we at right here? Ah. Ah, okay, this is the prison one. Which is literally called prison? Why did it not show up as prison? Why is it called something else? I'll never understand, man. I'll never get it. Alright, well, anyway. We'll just have to... We do have the end portal, at least, right? End portal, end portal. What? Okay, this is uh, Yava Yavakuda. Cool, cool. So, let's go take a quick little trip over to... Let's take a quick trip over to the place. And then I am going to go ahead and grab myself some coarse fruit. And then we'll be able to not only make a really cool cape thing but we will also be able to try to get a mythical pickaxe should be really cool and yeah, yeah i should absolutely i should absolutely do a max bacon hundred percent 
Yeah, I don't know why my waystones are getting a little fricked up because it it was no. Whoa! Look at that man over there. He's so cool. Um, hundred percent. I did name it prisons, but for some reason, it fricked up and then turned back to prisons after though. Like I don't I don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh God, you're are you gonna make it difficult for me to actually find chorus fruit? Please don't make it difficult for me to find chorus fruit. That would be inconvenient. That would be very, very inconvenient. Oh, we could do a, could do a little uh, <laughs> end city. Wait, there's ancient end city? What? How far away is that? 4,000 blocks away. Oh my God. You don't like the squish? I'm not a fan of the squish. Yeah, we just, uh, it's fine. We're, as soon as I find some chorus fruit, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, plop down the old waystone and head on back, but I would like, well, at least be heading towards the cool place in the meantime. What are we gonna find first? Are we gonna find the 4,000 block away structure or are we gonna find chorus fruit? That's the real question. Nobody, whoa. What are those? What are this? Oh, this is the Obsidolith, isn't it? We've been we've seen this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should I should uh, mark this off, even though it's probably not hard to find. Obsidolith, but we gotta do this later. We're not there yet. Not there yet. I don't know if I can fight it now. I'm pretty sure I need something from another uh battle. In order to do it. Quest complete. What did I do? Visit, <laughs> visit the foggy mushroom land. Oh, quest complete. Visit the crystal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I actually need these. Don't I? Yes, I do. Those. Okay. Got a few. Got a few. That should hold us over for a little bit. We needed those for the infusion if we ever do want to do that. I guess I could just do a nature's compass and try to find, I don't know, just end. Where is it? Just the end? Source Minecraft. Isn't just... Source Minecraft and Midlands, right? 746. I think that should just have chorus fruit on it, I'm pretty sure. Sort of still headed in the same direction as the Omega Ancient City thing, I think. So that's good, just a brief little detour on the way. You guys really don't like the squelchy sounds. <laughs> Cheeriest Rock, thank you for the 15 months. Very much appreciated. Very cool, very cool. Is that another one over there? Another Obsidolith, yep. I guess they're every, there we go. Thank goodness, finally, God. Imagine it being hard to find chorus. I got two, I got, I got, I got two? What the frick are we doing? What the frick are we doing? Why am I getting like three per tree? What's going on? Does not wanna, does not wanna work. Which mouse do I use? I use the Logitech G600 for all of the buttons you could ever want in, in the world. It's pretty swick. It is my favorite. And, um, yeah, you can, like, get one and stuff for, you know, 10% off with, uh, Code Captain Sparkles. Yeah, you wish you could get it discounted? Man, if only, you know? If only. All right, how many are we going to want? God, I love that this is just, this is so easy to get hold of now, though, right? It's just, well, we got to smelt it up, which is a little annoying, I guess. But other than that, other than that, we can get... I wonder if mythical is rarer to get with the Galena than legendary is with the pyrites. Or if it's kind of the same, same tiers just shifted. And if I'm going to RIP all of my diamonds. <laughs> um, all right, that's good for now. Krillin Joe, thank you for the sub. Much appreciate that. Thalassium, but it is Thalassium. Let's go. Oh, we had a little bit more of that as well. We just need it if we're going to do the uh, Eternium stuff at all, you know. 
Alrighty, um, let us do a quick trip back. I don't know why you don't like me renaming End Midlands. I gotta actually start taking my name serious. End Mi it, literally it's called End Midlands, and then I go back, and there is, okay, now it's End Midlands instead of Yabba, Yabba Dabba Doo. Okay, good. Man, it's fricked. One moment. One moment, so. When you reforge, make sure you're holding and wearing as many plus luck items. Oh, really? I didn't actually know it worked that way. Okay. Certainly will, certainly will. Keep that in mind. And then do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And then, okay, over here. We'll just start off with the pickaxe, and we'll see what happens. I think I don't even need gapples. This is gonna be that's gonna be famous last words. Like, I feel like I'm strong enough to not have gapples. Next fight I do, dead. Should have had the gapples. But you know what? We're always up for a challenge. The end for dummies. Oh. I'm too dumb to even know how to open the book. It's been that long since I've read something. <laughs> You're right, I could do the Elytra thing. For sure, for sure. I don't know if it'll... Will it let me do the craft um, when we are mended on it? That's the question. So. What are we looking at? I mean, these ones look pretty cool, but... I would have to get another Wither Sledge. So, alright, Inga, you say dragon. I will do dragon. Your wish is my command. If Inga says dragon, then dragon must be the way to go, if you say so. All right, and then I need the dragon's breath in there. And will it let me? It will. Okay, I did it. Uh, there you go. I am honestly fine with having the decision taken from me because it just makes it so much easier. Wow, look at us, dude. Now we have a chest plate and we can fly. Yo, this is pretty. No, wait, no. Why am I, why am I barrel rolling? Oh, it's probably because it's a new one. Do not. No, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. Don't tell me that it, don't tell me it's a perma... Dual barrel roll is currently disabled. What are you doing? What is happening? What is happening right now? Wait. Okay. It's just like it's got this kind of weird, like, pivoting thing, but it's not dual barrel roll. Alright. I was worried. I was very worried. It does this, like, a little bit of this gradual turning, but it's totally manageable. Got it. I was just having a little bit of a panic. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so we don't actually need the hang glider in our inventory anymore, which is a crazy turn of events for us. Good, good. All righty. It is galaning time. Gal Galana. Aren't you glad that we made it? What is this? Galana dust. Ah, okay. Here it is. 47 to go with our 55 diamundos. Ooh. You think we get you think we get some other stuff for that one? Like no we don't. Frick. Rip. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's time to get the greatest pickaxe the world has ever seen before we take it to Netherite. I mean plus one reach is sick. But let's hope that when we get a big one. What what are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. Am I wearing all my luck? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I gotta have that. Because that has plus two luck. I don't know if we have anything else that gives me luck. Wait. Oh, this has plus one luck, so I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, plus three luck. Wait, do I have a um hold on. Do I have a thing in here like a like the miner's hat or something like that? Or the forgotten? No. Um, uh, luck. Do I have any luck on anything? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I bet I have... 
I bet I have a plus two luck on another legendary, right? Maybe? 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 I love the minus two luck is just so cool. Minus, 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 minus. So much minus. All the minuses in the world. Plus one luck. Okay. And minus two luck. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna... We'll just do it like this for now. And I'm, I'm sure we won't waste all of our everything. I'm sure it won't happen. Here we go. Requires ingredient iron ingots. Excuse me? I mean, if you want me to use iron instead of diamond, I will. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain about that. It just... You know... Like, you want me to use iron? Oh, it was just a wrong, oh, it was the wrong field. It was, I was in the wrong slot. Damn it! I was really hoping it was just gonna... Ooh, legendary. Plus two reach. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, wee. Okay, here's what we could do. I have an idea. Keep that. Keep that, keep that. Oh, I wasn't holding the sword. Throw another diamond pickaxe in. If we get a better one, I turn that one into what we're going for, right? That's, no, 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 I just make a new one. Cause it'd be really dumb and really lame. Oh, also I have more diamonds. It'd be really lame to just sacrifice it, right? I could take the silk touch one, but also I don't necessarily want to do that. Cause I don't know, I, don't know. I guess I can make this one the silk. Actually, yeah, 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 we'll do this. And then if this one becomes mythical, I could take this and I could turn it into the silk touch one. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Fine, 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 sounds good. All right, here we go, and then, yep, hold the sword. Could have been better, could have been better. Okay, boom, and then boom, and boom, and requires full durability, you mother of frick. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a diamond on it, whatever, I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. I don't feel like mending it. Here we go, full dura, it is what it is. Balls! It's okay, we have another anvil. All right, here we go. So, boom, boom. Boom. Mythic. Mi frick. Frick it! Wasn't holding my sword. I'm doing everything incorrectly. Epic. Blit. Legendary. Wow. What does Mythic look like, though? God, imagine if we had rolled Mythic on our armor, bro. I don't want to go through everything again. I don't want to go through everything again. 2035. Do we get a... We got a 20... Oh, my God. Wait. 30% durability. Oh, this is speed. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dig speed, though, is actually sick. Wait, dig speed is sick. Versus speed? And you always get... Do you, oh, but you don't get the reach. I didn't get the reach on that one. Reach is epic. Three reach? That's a mythic. Holy frick, it's three reach? 30% dig speed? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Oh, boy. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to make this, this one. And then I could just... I could just add Silk Touch to this, actually. Then I could grindstone this. And then... Yeah, that, that's crazy. Where does this reach to? Let's see. Right there. Right there. That's pretty good. That's pretty... Wait. Yeah. That's right there. That's on the range. Nice. Very, very schnoise. Um, okay. Love to see it. Love to see... Now, yeah, I mean... Could make other things at the very least legendary. God, that does mean though, like, ugh. If I got a lot of diamonds, honestly, I could like do it over. I could do it over with a set of diamond. Cause like, we have that structure. We have that structure in the nether. And that thing can just put us over the edge on more netherite probably. 
Ooh, can you even imagine how gnarly? People are gonna be like, oh God, he's gotten back into the whole reforging thing. I can't believe he's done this. God dang it, save him, save him from himself. Anyway, that's where we're gonna leave it off for now on this episode. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to Captain Sparkles too. Uh, follow Twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles and I'll see you in the next one.